Hi guys, this is Dan7 from the Thief Wikipedia and I'm trying to do a narrated video tutorial for the Thief series and I'm currently doing Bufford's mission. The goals of this tutorial are to show you all the loot in the missions, to show you alternative paths and secret areas and of course we're going to do that all on expert difficulty. But still, I'm going to stick to the basics. I'm not going to visit all areas, I'm not going to pickpocket every possible guard, I'm just going to show you the necessities to complete the mission on expert difficulty with all the loot in the missions and I'm going to do it slowly, showing you the essentials of how to be a good thief. Now before we proceed I would like to state two things. First, as you probably recognize I'm not a native English speaker, but I'm trying my best. If there's any problems with my speech, you can always contact me in the Looking Glass forums as I'm known there simply as Dan, or find me at thief.wikia.com as Dan7. And secondly, I'm currently running on Thief Gold, which is okay for the Buffett mission which isn't uh, much, which isn't different at all from the Dark Project version, but for any future missions that have differences, I'm going to state in advance. Now, for all the new tuffers out there, I'm just going to make a short background on the story behind this mission. Garrett leaves the Keepers in pursuit of his career as a professional thief. For this very first mission, he has picked to rob a very arrogant, aristocratic and of course rich nobleman named Bathford, or Lord Bathford, who owns the mansion in North Quarter. Now, if you like more info on Bathford, you can, or any character for that matter, you can visit us at thief.wikia.com. It's time to begin. The objectives for this mission are very simple. Get inside, steal a specific piece of loot like uh, the jeweled scepter in this case and get out. Now getting in in the objective is stated that it's going to be done via the well house at the back and pickpocketing the guard that has the key to the well house. I'm going to show how we're going to do that. And of course on expert difficulty don't kill anyone. At least not humans. You can kill monsters but not humans. Now we don't we won't pay attention to the still 700 worth of variables as so we're going to rob the whole mansion. As for the gear at the shop, your starting gear is more than enough to complete the mission. But if you really want to spend your money, I advise buying a healing potion and a water owl. And if you have that extra 50 from the training mission. You can buy another water owl. The mission begins on the city streets near Bafford's front gate. The first objective is to sneak inside the mansion through the well house at the other end. And I'm going to show how we're going to do that. But before we go, you must know that as long as you stay on the streets and do nothing violent, nobody's going to bother you. Neither pedestrians nor guards are going to bother you, so you're pretty much neutral and you can walk freely. From your starting position we go south, past the gate, and as you can see, like Garrett mentioned in the briefing, it's pretty well guarded, so we ain't gonna try this way. When we reach this split in the streets, this fork, both roads are right, but the right one is the south one because it's much faster and there is a secret along the way. We go south until we reach this position and usually this time the pedestrian just shows around the corner. There he is. Now you search for a small hole on the left side of the street. There it is. A few broadheads and a few water owls. Now you don't really need those to finish the mission but they might come in handy anyway so it's good to pick up all equipment possible. We continue along the street and now when you reach this position, when the three, st three roads come together, the fastest way is east from here, along the street to the well house, but we want to collect all the loot, so we'll take the sewers instead. 
in we go the sewers look a bit confusing at start but they're actually quite small your main direction is again east like if you would go along the street so from here you turn right go east and when we reach this crossroad we go through it again east until we reach this gate now we have to unlock it somehow and clearly we don't see any button around so we have to go a little backwards to this wooden door next to the gate remember the wooden door is in the darkness on the right side go through it and there's the lever we can hear the gate rising behind us now before you go you must remember a basic part of being a thief is looking for loot and equipment everywhere in this case in this room there is a small golden necklace on the floor there it is the fastest way to find it actually is looking towards the lamp then looking down and then we go on our way now an essential part of being a thief is the money not only for the background story like uh, Garrett is a thief but also for a practical reason because an extra stolen piece of loot can mean an extra health potion or water arrow in the next mission now we've reached the eastern end of the sewers so we go up the ladder and again we find ourselves on the street but this time we're right next to the warehouse and there it is and there is the guard that is mentioned in the objectives he has the key apparently he is drunk but don't try to confront him as he will fight so the fastest way is actually to pickpocket him then unlock the warehouse door and I tend to lock it behind me but it doesn't really matter and you don't need the key in the way we go so the mission's been pretty straightforward till now these are the lower sewers beneath the mansion itself we go along them there's only one way now when you reach this room with dripping water from the ceiling you have to know another basic thing of being a thief is looking for secret paths as well in this case when you look down and swim towards the bottom you can notice a secret cave outside of the main way now the developers of the thief games gave us enormous levels gave us the chance to explore and the gamers want to explore every part of the level to find every piece of loot and equipment now in this room we can see there are a few spiders they're actually the small sewer spiders they have only one half point so they will die by a single arrow or a single swing but they're quite nasty because they're fast and little they're agile so we're going to just get off the water pass them pick the crate since I'm in here I might as well pick and into the water we go they won't follow us in the water then again through the cave back into the room with the dripping water and we continue along the sewers until we reach this crack in the wall you can't miss it even if you miss it you won't go far so we go off the water and inside inside Bafford's basement now remember from this point onward every guard is going to hunt you He's, they're going to try and kill you on sight the servants although unarmed can still scream for guards and get their attention if you bother them so be completely stealthy now when you enter this next storage room you can see actually you can hear a couple of guards having a conversation behind the corner now the corner looks dark enough but it's actually not quite dark as you can see the light gem is not very dark so don't try to 
lean to see what they're doing just wait until their conversation is over and before you go don't forget to pick this crate and another healing potion when you enter the corridors it's safe because both guards are turned away so we take the east corridor now there are many kinds of playstyles like forbidden new blackjacking guards but in this tutorial we're going to save time now you can leave him here as long as he is past this doorway here you can leave him nobody is going to see him from here we turn left there is nothing interesting there we continue east into this corridor and again remember to check crates in this case we have a few flash bombs which are especially good in Thief Gold and Thief Dark project because they allow you to blackjack uh, fully alerted guards up the stairways into this room before you exit the room and go to the corridors of the mansion you check these crates actually you only need to check the right crate which is irregularly placed because the other has only a vase that is of no worth now from this point lots of walkthroughs and guides show different paths I'm going to show you my path we go right we pass this position we pass the sleeping servant and when you reach the second turn we turn right and right again into this wooden door we enter the servant's kitchen now this servant is well occupied with his apples just stay behind his back and he is saying ain't gonna bother you no, don't forget to pick up this vase along the way when you reach the other end you turn again right across the room open this wooden door next to the barrels turn left open this door and now we're at the front section of Bafford's Manor on the first floor or the, or on the north side of the mansion now there's lots of guards from here on but actually Bafford's guards are not that well organized so they don't pose that much of a threat we go across the room toward the torch at the far end and just before you reach it now the second doorway we go up now be watchful here there is a guard that usually tend to walk this way and then go back up he can spot you for safety reasons you can always turn off that torch we just go here grab the loot from the crate and down um, now on the right side there is a silver door it. On the other side of the room you find a few silver coins. Close the door and now we enter the darkness and wait for the guard to come out that door. Now the reason we wait for this guard is he's the only guard you actually need to blackjack on the first floor he is the only guard that is walking through rooms you are likely to pass through there he is, ready to blackjack and stealthily await for our victim and off he goes then we enter the other silver room. now you can leave him there but you can just pick him up and leave him behind this wall for much stealthier purposes and we enter the art gallery we if you follow this tutorial you should have entered the art gallery from the north side and on your left side on the table there is a golden plate and a golden vase now if you haven't blackjacked that guard before as you can see this room is pretty well lit so the only dark place in this room is here in the center on this table he would pass 
next to you you have to be careful and fast with the blackjack to blackjack him you know you can always lean forward from darkness and blackjack guards even that they're going towards you doesn't really matter we exit the art gallery on the other side and before we go to the second floor which is right next to you as you can see the last but one doorway with the B on top of it before we do that we enter the right silver door to pick up a small golden drinking cup now you can see there is a guard in the far end but he is too far to notice you and all the all the rooms in that in that direction have no loot in it so we go to the second floor again you watch the bee go under it to the second floor pick up the vase you can pick up some cheese if you like now this is style you know very loud surface but the guard beneath it won't actually hear it so you can freely walk on it pick another golden glass we can hear the guard is drawing closer there he is so we wait for him to pass by go into the darkness there is no other guard here so don't be nervous he usually enters for a small stroll in the garden there he goes now Buffett's mission is very cool because when you blackjack guards usually they rarely find one another so they're pretty well separated now the way to the scepter is in that direction east but we have to clear the west side of the second floor or the front side of the second floor along this corridor we go there are two rooms that need attention here now in this room there is a pretty nasty guard that walks around there he is don't forget to lean and check corners but now I'm going to teach you the proper way of leaning you have to find a dark spot remember before you lean you have to be on a dark spot the light gem shouldn't be lighted at all then you lean and check the corner if you are on a light spot and you lean he's going to spot you now again sound is very important I can hear him coming I lean to check he says hello but he doesn't spot me then he turns away and it's my chance up the wooden stair stairwell behind this pile of boxes we find a crate with a piece of coins now when we go down there's nothing else here when we go down we do it gently crawling checking for the guard, there he is back up again usually when you have this nervous positions like this one when the guards are very close to you you it would be well if you have a flash bomb ready just in case we go along the way until we reach the other end and the other room is just here it's similar, there is a similar guard to it but before we enter it we have to take care of this guard here which isn't here at this moment, we're gonna take care of it later now again he's not here, we enter on the second floor again, there is nothing of interest here and you can see this is the guard sleeping quarters lots of crates you want at the far dark corner there is your piece of equipment the other contain either nothing or carrots <laughs> or a piece of bread in this one you can always have a snack if you want now again you drop down gently he just turned away but you can hear behind the corner there is another guard we lean he seems to be going away yes we take our chance and there he is you remembered like we can leave him here because nobody is going to come but usually it's better to just leave him in into a shadowed spot so they won't spot him for far now this way is also correct you can enter uh, the back side of Bafford's manor where the scepter is from this way but we're going to try on the other side we can pass through the garden through the roof 
Remember, we're going to enter through the south side. The south east side. We're going south east. Until we reach again, remember we blackjack this guard. And go for the silver door. Now, a commonly missed piece of loot is just when you enter this nice looking room on the right side on this bookshelf look for a small ring there it is we go through now the reason because we entered from the southeast side is just going to be shown now you can see guards are walking here you can hear it the guard is near and the surface is tall so we have to wait for him to pass by and then remember jump from carpet to carpet you don't have much time because the next guard is going to be around we do it then we take the guard now it's important to take him to darkness because the other guard is going to see you when your light gem is fully dark we leave him down and the reason we actually entered from this side is because the guards are patrolling uh, anti-clockwise direction and if we enter it into it from that direction they would be coming towards us not going away from us and again down like down with the previous guard when you're blackjack down down. you can lean forward but for more fun and action you can just jump from carpet to carpet and blackjack and that's it the two guards have been taken out there is only one third guard in the actual front room but we're going to cover up that later. Now both of the guards have this key which you need to enter the front room. So, from here we're just going to rob the place. Use the silver door. You can see Bafford's dining room. The golden bottles. bottles. Again, you can walk freely on town now, nobody's going to hear you. Pass the pool on the other side the silver door pick a few money and jewelry you can see this is Bafford's sleeping quarters now we go back and towards the east there are the two doors toward leading to the scepter but we have to cover one more room before we go that direction across the pool on the other side we find a small out of the way staircase leading downward we go through it we're going to go all the way from the second floor to the basement now but via secret way until we find Bafford's secret I think it's an accounting room but I'm not sure if you agree with me. Here we have another piece of key. We have his accounting book and another golden bottle. Back we go up the stairway through this really narrow corridor again across the corridors, across the swimming pool we reach this position now both, both doors are actually ok both doors are ok, I usually tend to use the left one just out of habit there is the card, now this room is the first actual challenge in TV because there is a lot of carpet but there is also a lot of tile before we go this guard has to be blinded we have to you have to make the room completely dark there are four torches you clear out this first torch because you can enter now this position try to crawl down until your light jam is really dark he might mumble a bit but it's okay now you can't see that torch but the water arrow has a white spread so you can hit the wall and then again 
We can't see that torch at the far end, I don't think we can hit it from here, so we're going to use the other the other door. There it is. The room is completely dark. Now I usually tend to quick save here. If I don't do it, I have my blackjack and my flash bombs both ready. We have to jump from carpet to carpet. Again to the big carpet, he won't see you. And you can just try to lean. Just going to catch him. There he goes. Now, if he would see you, he would use this gong to summon the other guards of the house. So it's best if this guard is undisturbed. We enter the throne room. <laughs> it's a throne room. And on the right side, on I mean on the left side, is the scepter. Here we go. Now we have, you will have all your other objectives on expert completed because we don't check the loot objective because we're going to collect all the loot anyway. And from here we go across that room again. We turn right from here, and we will go through the library. At the far end, on the left side, there is a silver door. We go through it. And if he reads them, or if it's just for show. Now, look for a small golden necklace on this table here, and that's pretty much it. We go from here. Our main direction is north. Again, for the staircase down. Always trying to get to the north side of the mansion. And now when when we're again in this first floor, in this room on the first floor, and you remember, when we blackjack this guard and put him behind this wall, you go north and there is our exit. All you have to do from here is pull the lever and back on the streets we are. And that pretty much covers the whole mission. Before we go to the next mission, I would like to show you a different way into the throne room with the scepter. Now we have just emerged on the second floor from the south side. And our idea is to go into the rooftop gardens. Once in the gardens, we go further on the stairs. And on the far east wall, we notice a Bafford banner. Now, there is a similar banner on the other side. In order to know that this is the correct banner, you should be on the southeast side of the rooftop gardens. If you cut the banner, you find a secret corridor behind it, leading to the front room. The advantage of this corridor is that it leads you to a such position from which you can extinguish all the torches without the guard noticing you. But be careful not to walk further along the wooden platforms or he will still be able to spot you if you haven't put it out all the torches. Hello? Is someone there? From this position you can risk little health and jump down straightly to the carpet or you can do it gently <laughs> and there he goes again now the downside of this position is that you haven't taken care of the two guards that were patrolling outside, but they can be taken care of along the way. <laughs> it's a throne room. 